Good day, everyone. Welcome to Virtual Concert Halls, uh, an independent broadcasting platform for musicians, music managers, music educators, and music lovers. Uh, we are dedicated to streaming live performances and panel discussions. We connect musicians with their audiences and with each other. We serve our audiences through bringing an opportunity to meet artists from around the world. These are the same musicians who you admire on big stages when the concert halls are open and when you attend concerts on most major venues. We also serve our community of professional performers during those difficult times with a virtual stage, which works pretty much like a physical venue. We bring live performances to the, to the audiences through the internet means. Today, I'd like to invite you to virtually attend a live concert which is coming up this Sunday, February 7th, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And here is a little preview. The program of the concert is absolutely unique. It's dedicated to unjustly neglected works for cello and piano. The concert is presented by a very long-time duo of mother and son, Igor Zubkovsky, cellist, and Susanna Kolker, pianist. The program will consist of the titles which you may have even a hard time finding on YouTube. Even though some of them are pieces composed by the most known and um, common names. The first piece will be performed a sonata by Joseph Haydn, number six in C major. It was arranged for cello and piano by Alfredo Piatti. After that, you will enjoy Prelude Opus 18 by Caesar Franck, and it was arranged for cello and piano by Igor Zubkovsky, who will be performing his own arrangement. Following that, you will be able to enjoy two pieces, De Salon from Opus 30 by Karl Davidov. This is a composer who wrote a lot for cello, and cellists, of course, know the name, but it's the music which uh, can be enjoyed by everyone and anyone. It has been unjustly neglected by many um, performers, so you will get an opportunity to, to watch that. The next three pieces, Opus 25 by Robert Kahn, I will follow that. And um, at the end of the program, there will be two shorter compositions, Prelude from The Secret Agent's Destiny by Mikhail Terivertiev, a Russian composer, very well known to those who love um, Russian movies from uh, the 20th century, who wrote a lot of mu movie music and um, leader and songs, and he is lesser known as an um, instrumental composer. You'll get a chance to hear his beautiful, melodious composition. And <clears throat> the last on the program is Nearly Waltz, Opus 98, by Nikolai Kapustin. Just a few words about the performers. Like I said, this is a long-time duo of mother and son who had been performing on various major concert venues for decades, bringing great live music to audiences around the world. Igor Zubkovsky started playing cello in his native Russia. While studying at the Moscow Conservatory, he won top prizes as an interna at the international competitions, including um, a prestigious Grand Prix at the Tanzman competition in Lodz, Poland. As a member of Brahms Trio <coughs> in Moscow, he won second prize at the Trapani, Italy, and first prize at the Weimar Germany International Chamber Music Competition. With a remarkable record of performances, awards, and academic distinction, cellist Igor Zubkovsky was awarded a full scholarship to the Peabody Conservatory, where he earned a graded performance diploma. As a member of the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra, <clears throat> Mr. Zubkovsky has been acting principal for several uh, Washington National Opera productions. As a soloist and a chamber musician, he has appeared in Merkin Concert Hall in New York, a prestigious Newport Music Festival, performed in many states, and of course in, um, at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., presenting uh, various programs with very interesting inclusion of his own arrangements for cello. He is an avid 
proponent of ex ever expanding the cello repertoire. As a pianist, I sometimes feel kind of jealous because he takes our best piano pieces and turns them into something very unique for cello and piano. Susanna Kolker, pianist, uh, received her education at the piano as a piano performance from Gnesin Music Institute in Moscow where he studied with the acclaimed professor Theodor Gutmann. For anyone who is familiar with the piano scene of Russia and education from the times, this name rings very rich memories of uh, an incredible man who had enormous influence on the piano and piano pedagogy at the time. Mrs. Kol Kolker uh, collaborated with many prominent musicians as a carrier of the tradition of uh, Theodor Gutmann, who in turn carried <clears throat> his tradition from Henrik Neuhaus, for whom he was an assistant. Mrs. Kolker, of course, was welcomed uh, and embraced as a collaborator by the greatest musicians, instrumentalists, both in Russia and throughout the, the world, in Bulgaria, Poland, former Yugoslavia. She participated in numerous festivals in the, as an accompanist and collaborator of the winners of those uh, festivals and competitions. She was awarded a special diploma as a best accompanist at the international competition in Poland. Since moving to the United States, Mrs. Kolker made numerous appearances at both concert halls, uh, the Concert Hall and the Terrace Theater of the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., and also performed in many states um, around the United States and collaborated with the greatest musicians for uh, chamber music performances and duo recitals. And <clears throat> I would like to uh, again invite everyone interested in this unique program. It will be broadcast live, and uh, the title of the program is unjustly neglected works for cello and piano and uh, now i'd like to show you a little peek preview of uh, uh, susanna kolker and um, igor zapkowski duo it's a recording from a while ago and um, no you're not going to be watching a recording if you attend um, the event it will be the actual live performance in real time so hope you all enjoy and attend the upcoming concert thank you
Thank you.